Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back once again to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 58. This first we will discuss the problem statement. This problem has been asked in Walmart interview question. Assume you are given the below table on transactions from the user. Based on their latest transaction date, write a query to obtain the number of users who made a purchase and the total number of products bought for each transaction date. If you see the input table wherein we have the column called product ID, user ID, spend and transaction date. And expected output is X transaction date, uh, number of users and the number of products. These are the columns which are expected in the output table. So if you see now the uh, user ID 1, 2, 3, it has made transactions on 8th July, 10th July and 11th July. So latest transaction is on 11th July and for this transaction uh, there is only one transaction, only one product has been bought. That is a product ID 97765. That's why you are seeing in the number of users as one and number of product is one in for the for the 11th July. Now, if you see the user ID 115, it has made transactions on 8th July, then uh, 12th, 12th July. So, uh, so latest transaction is 12th July. So, this user 115 has made only one purchase on the 12th July. That is product ID 6536. Again, uh, on uh, again the user uh, 159 has done transactions on 8th July, 10th July and 12th July. On 12th July, it has done two transactions uh, and uh, uh, and earlier we had on 12th on 12 July, uh, user has one, uh, user ID 115 has done one, one trans transaction. So total, there were two users and total transactions were three. So this is what is expected in the output table. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. We can solve this problem by using CTE, but before moving to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So let me fire this select a star from user underscore transactions. So this is our input table wherein we can see that we have the column called product ID, user ID, spend and the transaction date. Now let me start with the CTE. So we'll start with with clause with and then we'll give CTE table name as let's say CTE underscore latest date. So our first aim is to find the latest date for each users. So let me see, let me show you how I am going to find the latest date for each users. So I am going to write select star from table name that is user underscore transactions and then I am going to close the bracket. Now I am going to replace this star with the columns which we need. So what are the columns I need? I need transactions, a uh, transaction underscore date, and then I need uh, users, user, users underscore ID, users underscore ID, and then I need product ID, product ID. So these are the three columns I need. After that, I need uh, another column which which will be which will give the rank based on the uh, latest transaction so for that i am going to use window function called rank here so i am going to use over clause and then i am going to partition by partition by user id so what i am doing i will be partitioning based on the user id and then i will be ordering ordering by transaction date in the descending order so one having the latest transaction will be on the top right so i'll give transaction date descending and we'll give alias as let's say days underscore rank so let me See what this result, what this query gives the result. 
So now you can see we got the another column called days underscore rank and for this user there were two transactions 8 July and 12 July and 12 July got the days rank equal to 1. Similarly for user 1 to 3 we have total 4 transactions that is 2 on 8th July and 1 on 10th July and 1 on 11th July but the latest one is on 11th July that's why got days rank equal to 1 for uh, user equal to 159 we had total of four transaction and there were two transaction on the 12th that was the latest and you got the days rank equal to one so we got the latest transaction by using rank function over here now the our job is very easy now what i'm going to do i will be using select uh, star from the ct underscore latest state now i'm going to replace this star with the columns what we need so first column i need is the transaction date so i'll copy from here and I'll post paste it over here and the second column i need is the number of users so what we'll do we'll use count function so we'll count of num a uh, user id count of distinct user id sorry it will be distinct of user id this will give as number of users now i need another column as number of products right so for that i will be using count of product id as number of products so these are the two fields i need right from this table from this cte table since uh, for that what we have to do now we have to group by transaction date column and we have to uh, order by transaction date column but before that we have to do all one, one we ha I have missed to write one query over here we have to filter this record where where days rank where days rank equal to one rank is equal to one so what this will this query this filter will do it will it will give only those records where days rank is equal to one so we'll get the latest transaction so now let me run this piece of code and see the result here you go you got the exact output what was expected so you have got the transaction date the number of users and the number of products sold so that's all for this uh, solution if you know any other way by which you can solve this problem please do write in the comment section and if you really liked what i have shown in this problem and the solution please do give thumbs up thank you